Hey guys, here's a cardiac NCLEX practice quiz on AFib or atrial fibrillation. Good luck. The nurse is caring for a client who is suffering from atrial fibrillation. Which of the following statements made by the nurse are correct? Select all that apply. A. It can be caused by heart disease. B. A person with atrial fibrillation may have dizziness and syncope. C. It arises from several atrial ectopic foci. D. It increases the risk of hemorrhagic stroke. Or E. It does not increase the risk of stroke. The correct answers are A, B, and C. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. The nurse is concerned that a client with atrial fibrillation is not on any anticoagulants and notifies the healthcare provider. The nurse knows that which of the following is a reason why a client with atrial fibrillation is at an increased risk for a stroke. A. The atria contract faster so blood clots easier. B. Blood pools in the atria due to their quivering which increases the risk for clots. C. The rapid ventricular response increases the risk for blood clots. Or D, there's increased blood since the atria are contracting faster. The correct answer is B. The nurse is reviewing a client's medications and notes the client is taking warfarin sodium. Which of the following medications should the nurse tell the client to avoid? A. Aspirin B. Metoprolol C. Enalapril or D. Promethazine The correct answer is A. The nurse is reviewing a client's medications and notes that the client is taking warfarin sodium. Which of the client's following lifestyle habits would concern the nurse? Select all that apply. A playing on a local rugby team, B, one glass of wine per week, C, kale shakes and salads twice per day, D, grape juice every morning, or E, uses public transportation to appointments. The correct answers are A and C. A nurse is caring for a client who is in atrial fibrillation and needs to be cardioverted. The nurse should set the monitor to sync to which wave? A, R wave. B, Q wave, C, T wave, or D, S wave. The correct answer is A. That's it guys, you're all done. Great job. Let us know how you did in the comments below. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN. 
click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.